So see if this sounds familiar. So let's say you were copying some photos or some documents to a USB drive and all of a sudden it, you accidentally unplug it or it becomes disconnected somehow and everything gets corrupted and now you're sitting there like this. I know that feeling. And so today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to recover these files. I'm going to be showing you three different ways to recover your files from a USB drive on Windows. So let's get started. Now, before we start, and before we do anything, there's a little bit of groundwork that we need to cover first, and that is what actually happens to files when they get deleted. And if you've never watched this channel before, then make sure you pay attention to this part specifically because it's really important. So when you delete files, they're not actually gone, rather they're just hidden by Windows in order to be overwritten later on by more files later on down the line. And so what this means is that if we act fast, we can just get our files back by unhiding them by using some backup methods or by software, and either way, that will allow us to get our files back very easily, in fact. And this also gives us a few guidelines that we should really pay attention to. And the first one is to stop using your drive. Again, this will prevent any further corruption or deletion of the files that we're trying so hard to recover. Second, it would also be a good idea to unplug the drive from the computer. Again, this kind of goes along with point number one. It just forces you to stop using the drive and make sure that nothing will go into the drive or come out of the drive, thus greatly increasing the probability that you'll be able to get your files back. And finally, it's best not to copy anything that remains on the drive from the drive to your computer. Again, using the drive at all can further corrupt the files if you're not careful and you don't know what you're doing. So just completely leave the drive alone. That's basically all encompassing here. Do not mess with the drive at all. Rather, the very next thing you should do is follow these three simple methods that I'm about to share with you in this video. And we're gonna get started right now with number one, which is using CMD. So this is definitely the most advanced method on the list, but it's definitely worth a shot if you're in a pinch and it uses CMD and a couple of special codes and commands that we can use in order to unhide files that could have been hidden in the event of a corruption. So let's go ahead and do that now. So to start, connect your USB flash drive to your computer. Then open the start menu, type CMD, and hit enter on your keyboard. Now we're going to be using two commands within CMD, and the first one is this. It's basically a check disk command that's going to scan the entire drive for us using CMD. And the one thing that's really important here is the X in the command needs to be replaced with the drive letter of the drive that you're trying to recover from. And you can find this out just by going to your Windows Explorer. And in the sidebar, you can actually see which drive is associated with which letter. And as you can see, my specific drive has this letter. And so I just want to copy and paste that into CMD along with the command. That's really important. Then once you've entered the command, go ahead and hit enter. And then finally, we're going to use this command. I know it's really long and looks complicated, but I'm going to include both of these commands down below in the description so you can just copy and paste them into CMD to make it a lot easier for you. But again, make sure to replace that X in the command with the same drive letter that you used for the first command. Very important. And then go ahead and hit enter again and wait for the process to be completed. All right, so what this is going to do is it's going to populate any missing or hidden files from the drive back onto the drive in the event of a virus or a corruption or something like that. It doesn't always work, but it is definitely a good thing to try as step number one. But step number two, we're going to be using something called the History tab that's built right into Windows Explorer that is sort of like a built-in time machine. If you know about Time Machine for Mac, it's a lot like that except for Windows. And it's super effective, and I use it all the time. So let's, let's do it. So go ahead and make sure that your USB flash drive is connected to your computer, then go ahead and open it, and in the Home tab of Windows Explorer, click History. Then what you can do is scroll back through time and actually see the different versions of that USB stick that were captured in the History software. Then once you find the file that you want, just click it and restore it. So there you go. That is the History tab built into Windows Explorer. It's very simple to use and it's super effective, especially in a case like this. If you delete a file, you can just go back to a previous version and restore it from there. It's very, very useful and very effective. But if that doesn't work or it just doesn't go back far enough, then we're going to be using step three now, which is using file recovery software that will extract the data and get our files back for us. So there's a lot of software out there, right? Some, some is better than others. 
But what we're looking for is something that can actually go inside the drive and pull the data out and actually reconstruct all the little things that may have been slightly corrupted or overwritten to give us the best chance of getting our files back because a lot of times things can be overwritten and corrupted and moved in different places and so we need software that's going to be advanced enough in order to pull that data out so that we don't end up with a bunch of half-baked files and stuff that doesn't really make sense and so for that of course we're going to be using disk drill so disk drill is of course awesome i've talked about it before i mean that's pretty much what this channel is all about it's just raving about how amazing disk drill is but one of the great things about disk drill for windows especially with the advent of disk drill 4 is that you can now use it for free and recover 500 megabytes of files from your drive like that like right now and it's amazing because not only do you get those free files but you also get to preview everything that's been recovered so that you know 100 percent that those things are able to be recovered so sounds pretty good to me and i'm going to show you how to use it right now so let's go so go ahead and go down to the description and download and install disk drill then once you've downloaded and installed it, go ahead and launch it. And what this will do is it will bring up a bunch of different tutorials that you can follow if you want. Uh, but if you don't want to, or once you're done following those tutorials, it will bring you to the main screen, which opens the data recovery panel by default. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and select the disk that we want to scan, which in this case is our USB drive. And then go ahead and click the search for lost data button, which will initiate disk drills scanning algorithms. Now, depending on the size of your USB drive, this could take a little while, so you may have to exercise some patience here. So I will catch up to you when it's finished. All right, and once it's finished, you can review the files within the file structure here or in the categories on the left-hand side. Now, one thing that I need to stress here, this is really important. When you're looking through the files that have been recovered, what's really important to note is that you need to make sure that these files are previewable. And what this means is that you're actually able to see a preview of that file in its entirety inside of disk drill before you even recover it. And why this is important is because, remember earlier when I was talking about how when files are corrupted or overwritten, that that means that they're completely gone? Well, what previewing does is make sure that it essentially guarantees that those files are 100% intact, meaning that they have not been overwritten at all, and that essentially guarantees that they are recoverable from that drive. So you can actually go ahead and preview those files by clicking this little eye icon right next to the file name. And if they are previewable inside of disk drill just like this, then you know that those files are 100% recoverable and that you'll be able to get those back in the event that you try to recover it. So that's something really important. Making sure that those files are previewable is paramount. All right, but once you find the files that you want, just put a check mark next to them, click recover, and choose a save location. Now, another thing that's important to mention that we strongly recommend you export your files to your C drive or somewhere that's not the USB drive that you're trying to recover from. Again, that's really important to make sure that we don't overwrite and corrupt those files further. So as you guys know, I typically choose my desktop, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. And then click OK, and that will recover the files to the location that you selected. And now, as you can see, all of my files are right here and they are completely usable. I can move them, I can copy them, I can open them in software, I can email them, and it's literally just like they never left. And that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, always be sure to leave us a like down below. Also, if you have any questions or things you want me to cover in a future video, be sure to let us know down below in the comments. But that is going to be it for today's video. My name is Andy, and thank you for watching.